This is such a lucky day at Hanover Avenue because we have Annie Selke here with us. Annie is the mastermind behind Pinecone Hill, Dash and Albert. She has just started a line called Fresh American and is it Lux or Lux? We're, we're sticking with Lux. Great. Why don't you tell people about this new line of bedding because it really is amazing. It's taking all the things that I've learned and known about textiles for such a long time. So it's all woven in Italy of Egyptian cotton. I call it fancy ass bedding, which I know is <laughs> like. She has been voted Small Business Person of the Year. House Beautiful did an entire year long feature of her, of the renovation of her house. So this is a treat. And we're gonna be looking at Annie's house where she lives now at all of her three, not all of your bedrooms, but three of them. Let's go to the first image because this is my daughter Charlotte's bedroom. Well, I love it that you made this space feel sophisticated, but again, it does have that little bit of whimsy. And this is what I was trying to talk about with the dolphin is Annie's got impeccable taste, but she always can inject some whimsy and something that doesn't feel too precious. So one of the things that I wanted people to see was this great coverlet that you kind of just casually placed at the end of the bed with the throw. And then, you know, it's funny, I just put this beautiful sheared bed cover on it, one of my client's beds. Yeah, it blends a romantic but simple treatment to a bed. But this piece, you guys, is the fastest way to make a bed look amazing in a snap. I love it. I mean, I just used it. And the other thing I love is this blend of old and new. Can you tell our readers and viewers about that awesome chest? So the chest used to live in my dining room. I used to live in a huge farmhouse, like a 5,000 square foot shingle style farmhouse that house and garden shot once upon a time. And I needed a piece basically to store silverware and yeah. linens and all of that. It was really fancy. It had scenic wallpaper all the way around. So I bought that piece in Hudson, New York. And it was at the time like a very big purchase. It's called a bachelor's chest. It has this like little bamboo, brass with bamboo. Yeah. It's a beautiful, beautiful piece. It's um, crazy cool. You know how you have pieces that you just love and they move <laughs> with you and I use them in different places. Um, the prints to the left, those were my mother's once upon a time and she gave them to me for a living room two or three living rooms ago, but I just love them and yeah. that palette is sort of what inspired that room. But putting some wacky stuff like those mid-century Chinese chests but that's a great tip for our readers is so often there's a jumping off point that inspires every room. I mean, it, it's, it's an age old trick that so many designers use. And so instead of having a big sideboard in your dining room, you have a beautiful chest and then it can evolve with you over time. The other thing is, are these, so these lamps, were those vintage? The wood ones I found, you know, maybe two years ago at the Modernism Show in Palm Springs. I don't know if you've ever been to that, no. but I highly, highly recommend it so you can see all different kinds of great examples of mid-century modern uh, furniture and accessories. And I saw those, I was like, oh, I love those. Didn't know where I was going to use them because they are a little bit of a wacky juxtaposition with that very, you know, that's... No, I love it, Annie. I love <laughs> it. I... Um, but I, I love sculptural objects, things that have shape and form and they they have that in spades well and you know we talk a lot about i think mid-century i mean i don't know if this is actually a federal chest but those lines always look so great together because they're together clean yeah. lines yeah well let's go to the next view because this next slide really kind of highlights some of annie's amazing bedding so this coverlet can you tell our readers a little bit about this because you do have such gorgeous stuff that's my personal favorite color, sort of sky blue, celadon, the robin's egg blue. And that is a particularly lovely quilt because it's foil, so it's really, really lightweight, both top and bottom. So it's this luxuriously light layer that is wonderful in the summer. It's wonderful with an extra layer in the winter. And we did that in like five colors. <laughs> Pitch all day long, honey. This is all about you. No, that's great. We have so many products and you know, the ones I choose for home, it's it's like, boy, okay. Well, it's your, it's your favorite. So if you guys want to have what Annie loves, pick it up. <laughs> is this throw yours too? Yeah. That's I love our that. laundered linen throat. And I know we were early on that color, now it's everywhere, but we did that maybe three years ago. It's, it's a very flattering color. It's, and I always love that palette. And you'll see it in the rug as well. It makes every woman look beautiful. Exactly. No, it really does. But it's the other thing too is so it's thin, and then the corals echoed in that Dash and Albert rug, isn't it? 
Yes, so that's part of our Bunny Williams collection, and I love that rug, and I think you'll see an image after this that shows more of the rug, but um, it's called Molly, and it's probably one of my favorites just because it has brown, ivory, and that great corally, you gotta call it baby aspirin pink, but it's just a great <laughs> color. <laughs> no, it's beautiful. This room feels very tied together, but it doesn't feel matchy-matchy, and I love it that you put the Chinese chests that, that feel more like that Chinese red and then just went for it with that green lamp that is the red, the complement of the red. You know, if you look, looking at those beautiful tulip prints, you know, there was that intensity of color. So it's kind of staying in the same tone, but different shades of that tone. So getting lighter and deeper, for me, always aesthetically works. So often people think that red and green is all about the holidays and really yeah, yeah. on the color wheel, it's the complement. So each right. one makes the other one look more vibrant. The other thing I want you guys to see is how you can use Annie's textiles and really layer the textures. Are these pillows in the back just a, a, a gentle linen? The ones at the way back are a cotton sort of slubby cotton, it's called our Zen coverlet. It's, then in front of it is a linen gauze, which is has a sort of diaphanous quality, really, really pretty. And then in front of that is a Peter Fasano um, hand sprayed textile that we made a pillow to go with. And that's the same banding on the bed hangings. This is such a classic bed treatment too. So Annie used this beautiful white wooden bed and then made this beautiful bed treatment around it. And that's something that you guys will be able to hire an upholsterer to make. Let's look at the next slide and just kind of take in this room. Annie. Yeah, I love that. Ah! <laughs> it's so pretty, isn't it? It's beyond pretty. It's insane. Yep. Uh, there's the great rug that you did with Bunny. This chair, what fabric is that? That is a Peter Fasano, and Peter Fasano, I don't know if you know him. Um, yeah, so Peter Fasano is a great friend of Bunny's, actually, uh, and I have always loved what he does. So he did the curtain fabric, he did the sheds fabric, and he did the fabric that's used around the um, yes. thing. The other thing that I want you guys to see is what Annie's done in this room, instead of papering the whole room, it's given that big burst of texture in the window treatments. Easily changed, and it's a really bold print. I mean, that is a, it's big. It's like really, it has a huge repeat. You'll notice that the walls have pretty much recede. I mean, they're just a very kind of biscuit color. Yes. You couldn't make a statement there. You have to pick where you make, I, I feel, you have to pick where you make your statements. Follow Annie's lead. So what she's saying is when you have a pattern that bold on the window treatments, you don't want to have a big, bold hue on the wall. You want the wall to kind of play the, the supporting actress. Yeah, exactly. I want you guys to also see what she did. So these mid-century lamps have that great um, profile that's kind of echoed in this Peter. See, it's echoed in yep, the fabric. Exactly. Can you tell everyone about the little um, garden stool? Melissa, my stylist, found that. It used to be in our photo studio. And I was like, oh. We need to pop a green in there. Yes. So she brought it up and I'm not sure where she bought it, honestly. Well, treasures do reveal themselves everywhere, but I want you guys to see what Annie did. So if you guys remember across the room is the beautiful green on these tables. And then without making the room feel contrived, she just then echoed that green right across next to the chaise. And so it moves your eye around. Exactly. So All pretty. about keeping the eye moving and not walking in on one thing that looks like, you know, big zip on your nose. <laughs> so now we're gonna look at another room in the house. That gorgeous room, Annie, that had that beautiful bed. What is that? <laughs> or is it a stain? It is a stained, really dark wood, so it's not painted. It's um, gorgeous. And I call this John's room. John Gilmer is my architect and dear, dear, dear friend. We met in Sweden on our architectural tour. We've been all over England and Ireland. And so it's John's room because he designed both the modern house that has beautiful house and he did the renovation on this house. Um, and he also has an antiques business called Porter and Plunk and he had that bed and I was like, ah, I need to have that bed. I love that bed. I've always wanted one of those. And it's sort of, it's a British colonial kind of Indian vibe and it's a great looking bed. It's, well, it's cool. I love what you just said about how it has that kind of, um, you know, well-traveled. Indian, yep. Yeah, because I love the bedding that you put with this and this is all yours. This is all ours, yep. A totally different vibe than Charlotte's um, room, obviously. I'm a big fan of ethnic textiles. These are batik resist print quilts that we sell and they're just fabulous. And they have a lot of energy and movement. They're not contrived. There's a lot of 
wiggly lines and things that make it less, you know, staid. I feel like if people pull from this collection, it gives their house the feeling that they have traveled. This is a great way, you guys, to um, give that global influence to a bedroom. And I love it that you've paired it with things that do feel more traditional. And is this linen? Yeah, that's our linen mesh, which is, it's four ply linen. It's really big and open. It's yeah. a beautiful, beautiful textile. Yeah, this is like a rougher, you know, it's a more manly room um, with the blue and brown. And the rug is yours as well. So that's the Dash the rug, and yeah. rug. We should mention with Dash and Albert, it's evolved into this really amazing collection where it, it doesn't just feel like these stripes anymore. You've just kind of taken it to the whole nother level. We, yeah, we started with stripes, which really started as placemats. I was looking out on the floor. I was like, yeah. Is that really how that started? Placemats, but I think they would make fabulous rugs. And yeah, that's how it started. Wow. Um, yeah, and we kept, you know, I like other patterns and we kept adding different techniques and we keep doing that um, and I keep waiting for the public to say no we don't want any more rugs from you but they haven't said it yet so we keep adding them. If you haven't already explored Dash and Albert do it and the reason is they are so chic but they are practically bulletproof. And as I you know gotten older and had more heartache around having things get ruined like you know I just don't want to do that anymore I want things that are Functional. It's also true of moms with young children. So, yes. I mean, it really is. Pick up or friends with red wine. Hello, there are problems. Um, too. Yes. Okay, but let me just show some other people these really deft design choices that Annie made in this room. You know, so often people are afraid to have their lamps not be at the same level. I love how you've mixed this kind of kid finish leather settee at the bottom yeah. against that linen. And then you guys look at how she placed that art. It's like perfectly framed out by the bed. And then is that just a, a, a teeny little whisper of a pattern on the wallpaper? It is, it's a Farron ball, little tiny like brush stroke again in my favorite blue color. But yeah, it's a great paper. It's so beautiful and it looks great with the, the bedding like that. It's not too busy, but it gives the wall just a little bit of dimension. This is a great masculine jumping off point. If any of you guys wanna follow this lead in your own house, it's a great way to have a room feel like it's suited, well suited to a man. It'd be great as a guest bedroom like you have it. Yeah. But let's look at this next room because I, die for this it's room. It's my bed. No, it's not. It is not. <laughs> yeah, it makes me happy too. I love, love, love that room. Annie, I love it that it's your bedroom. Can we talk about these screens and pass out? They're the basis for the decor in that room. My dear friend, John Gilmer, who John's room is the room we looked at before. Right. He found those for me in Palm Springs at a place called the Estate Sale. And he texted me and he's like, these are scream, Andy Selke. It's like, yes, they do, buy them. They're hand painted? They're hand painted. Yeah. On and silk? They were, I, I want to say there are nine or 10 panels and we used all of them. And he, as the architect, he said, you know what, Andy, I think it'd be good to create like instead of it being flat on the wall, create the dimension. He also helped me design the headboard to fit exactly that space. I love, love, love this room every day. There's a fireplace if you're looking at the bed over to the right. Oh, um, oh, oh, right here. This kind of was what we were talking about in Charlotte's room, about a way to give your room a bunch of pattern and color without papering the walls. And there is wallpaper in here actually, but it's very, very subtle. It's a linen, um, it's a Ralph Lauren paper linen with, there's a metallic sheen behind it. It's so subtle, it's really, really subtle. It's the it's the supporting actress in The Leading Lady. Yeah, but and it has texture and, and light reflects off it really nicely. It's gorgeous. There are many headboards that we will link you guys to that are off the rack where you can kind of get the same effect that Annie had, but mm -hmm. It's not hard to have an upholsterer make this. This room got completely renovated. This used to be my mother's living room, so it's a long story. And you can see it on our blog, actually, sort of the whole process. Oh, wow. And so there were two windows, you know, in the architecture plan, and then John said, oh, I have to, I will design the headboard to fit between those two windows. I love, yeah. too, Annie, that you made the window treatments and the headboard that simple dialogue of the same color. It's a linen-y, blue linen, and that has a slight, slight, slight metallic sheen to it as well. So really, really subtle. So it's like a glow, but it doesn't 
scream in your face. It's gorgeous. And then here again is Annie's favorite pattern. And we saw that in Charlotte's room with the coverlet at the foot of the bed. These are the shams. These are those same pillows in that yummy, gauzy linen. And then, so can you tell our readers about this beautiful bedding that has the little stripe? That is our Varana linen. So it's 100% enzyme washed linen with just that sort of subtle ticking stripe. And it feels like a um, more casual variation of that really stiff hotel bedding that has like the... Yeah. I love exactly. it. And then can you tell everyone about that um, amazing rug? The Amazing Rug, one of my very, very favorites and one of our best sellers. Um, it's called Cut Strike Motion. And it's, again, that my favorite color of blue and sort of an oatmeal color. It's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful rug. So it's a great thing to use when you're having a huge area rug like this where you want to give texture, but again, you're not wanting to like call out too much to the floor. Right, you don't want it to jump off the floor. Well, I mean, Annie, these rooms are just amazing. <laughs> You're also an author. Is there anything Annie can do? I think Hanover Avenue readers especially will appreciate it because I mean, kind of what our goal is, is to teach everyone to become their own designer, to learn from amazing designers <laughs> like you. But what's so great about the book is that you guys are gonna be able to learn how, from Annie, how to kind of harness your own internal barometer of style. And it's so much more personal. I mean, it's yes. better if you're responsible for it. I've been in many beautiful interiors, but you know they're done by a designer. It's the ones I think that look like they were never there. It evolved over time. Yes aren't perfect and they don't match and they, yeah. And I've always said that I think the best designer translates the, the client's brain and it looks like the designer was never there. It looks right. like a true reflection of the homeowner. Of the homeowner. Yes. Well, you are a treat. I even tried to pop my collar for Annie. It's been such a joy for me to have you on here and an honor and I admire you so much and I really want you guys all to dive deep into Annie's website. She's got an amazing Instagram. You just are a joy to have on Hanover Avenue. I'm very, Thank very you. grateful. You were a pleasure to chat with. Let's wave goodbye to everyone. And um, you guys wave goodbye to sweet goodbye. Annie Selkie and her dolphins. <laughs> All right, guys, we'll see you next week. Gavin's gonna do the vanity check. Vanity check's good? Yes. Does Annie look amazing? Yes, Annie looks amazing. Rock star. Yeah, <laughs> gorge. It's because you've been going to a trainer. Okay, so the last. <laughs> Annie, that was good. Annie, you are so good on film.